2015 NFL draft began, and then it was over just like that. And the days that followed, each team, along with their fans, claimed the victory. In Philadelphia, however, it's been a different story. Think of all the NFL as a brand new sports car rolling down the highway on a sunny day. There were some fans that would like to take a ride in that car, but there were just as many that would rather walk instead. This was Chip Kelly's first ever hands totally on his team, the Philadelphia Eagles steering wheel, and half of the spectators won his license revoked. There was no Marcus Mariota sighting in the Philadelphia airport because there was no Marcus Mariota signing to an Eagles contract. The biggest hype sports story next to last weekend's snooze fest between Mayweather and Pacquiao never came to life. The student and the teacher storyline was just that, a storyline. Chip Kelly didn't get to draft his so-called franchise quarterback, and Marcus Mariota didn't get to come and sample Chip's new line of smoothies. There were so many different reports as to what was asked and what was offered, but at the end of the draft, Chip was without his Marcus. The 2015 season for the Philadelphia Eagles, as well as the future for Chip Kelly's job, now lays in the questionable health of Sam Bradford. A quarterback who, like Mariota, entered into the NFL with high expectations, only to have his body break down more than once. If the Eagles are going anywhere this year, and if Chip is not then Bradford needs to stay healthy. This is something that Bradford has yet to prove, and that's why most are still questioning why Chip failed to draft a quarterback this year. On the current roster, there are at least five different quarterbacks, but if you ask most people, not one of them will be considered a franchise quarterback. Chip Kelly wants everyone to believe he can just move players around and they will fit perfectly like pieces in a puzzle. He wants everyone to know he is the new mastermind in the NFL and his way will win out. The problem with thinking like that is that you never have a backup plan. If you don't think about failure, then you will fail. If you never worry about drowning, then when you get in deep, you drown. Chip Kelly did nothing in this draft to protect his team or his Eagles job from sinking to the bottom. There were other quarterbacks in his draft that most felt fit inside Chip's puzzle, but Chip decided he knew more than everyone else. Chip is putting the 2015 Philadelphia Eagles system on the back of one word. He hopes that Bradford gets better and reverts back to the quarterback he was in college and his first year in the NFL. Chip hopes that the free agents he picked up with injuries will also revert back to their healthy status. Coach Kelly hopes that the unproven wide receiver core can catch lightning in a bottle or at least a lot of touchdowns this year. GM Kelly hopes that the decision not to draft Marcus Mariota doesn't come back to haunt him. The Philadelphia Eagles team is on the bubble. And no, not Buddy's bubble, but their own. This is a make-or-break year for Chip because he decided it was time he walked up to the head table and asked to order his own food. Let us hope he gets to enjoy it and doesn't choke on it. There are a lot of questions concerning the draft picks and time will tell if he did well or if he was in over his head. The decisions to let most of the Eagles pro Bowl players go these past seasons may come back to haunt him. The decisions he made during his first draft may either make him look like the new mastermind or the latest fool. Marcus Mariota may become the next big thing to slice bread. Or he may be another in a long list of first-round quarterback busts. One thing is for sure, 
This is the year we get to see Chip drive his own car, down his own road, with his own hands, computing the data into his own GPS. Let's hope he winds up driving it into a championship parade and not into a pool. You've just heard Chip of Fools, written by Philadelphia sports reporter John J. Rupert, May 4th, 2015. It was recorded, spoken, and effects added by John J. Rupert, May 17, 2020. <laughs>